Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be looking at some home tech and this intelligent safety LED sensor light from Elekin. These are outdoor security war solar lights from Elekin, who I'd like to thank for providing this solar light for me to test and review. As winter comes in, the dark nights draw in earlier than at any other time of the year. Under the cover of darkness, security around your home is paramount, and there is no better deterrent than an illuminated area around your home, and even better, a motion-sensored one detecting and illuminating when triggered by movement. With its 30 LED lights, this wall solar light will illuminate your designated area in two phases. The first phase, Dimly, which will continue to do so throughout the night, providing your designated area with a constant dull illumination. And the second phase, brightly, once the sensor has been activated, it will continue to illuminate at maximum intensity for 30 seconds after the stimulus that triggered the initial sensor has left the detection area. Throughout the day, the lights will be off and the unit will automatically recharge itself. The sensor has a 120 degree wide angle detection area that will detect motion within 26 feet of the sensor. So if you have a small patrol area to cover, whether that be your driveway, corridor, garage, shed, garden, or the side of your home, you can ensure that a whole or a large portion of the area is covered by the sensor and will be lit up efficiently by the light. Now let's get over to the unboxing of this outdoor solar light. So what you get in the box, the wall plugs, screws to attach to the wall and the key pin to unlock the battery. The simple, easy to follow instructions. And finally, the solar light. The device is actually a lot smaller than I first thought before I'd received it in the post, but looks can be deceiving as you'll see later in the video. On its rear, the slots to hook the light to the wall, one bottom light, which will illuminate the area below the device with its 16 LED lights, the on off socket, which I'll talk about later, the solar panel unit, which can be rotated 360 degrees and positioned to better face the sun, depending on the location you put it in, and two fully adjustable spotlights to the left and right of the unit, each with seven LEDs, which can be rotated 360 degrees in a multitude of different custom positions to ensure that you can illuminate the area that you want. Before installing the unit onto your desired wall, you'll have to unlock the battery and the light unit by using the key pin and inserting it into the on off socket above the sensor. This will ensure the lighting system will now initiate and function. Now let's get over to the installation. Drill the two holes into the wall for the wall plugs. Insert the two wall plugs. Insert the screws and tighten. Position the device onto the screws via the slot to the back. If the unit is still loose against the wall, tighten the screws and attach again. As you can see from the unboxing and installation, this little device when positioned on the wall should safely and securely illuminate your front, side or rear of your house. The instructions say that the lamp shall be charged for about 5 hours under sunlight before using. After my installation of the unit on the following evening, the unit began to function normally and has done every day since. My one concern was that the dim setting might have been a bit too bright, but in fact in dim mode it provides enough light to be a constant deterrent, probably best described as a dull moonlight illumination. The sensor reacts very quickly following being triggered and illuminates the area immediately, flooding the area with light. I must say it is important that the lights are positioned appropriately to prevent light from intruding onto neighbouring properties or areas. Thanks to the custom positioning of the lights on the device, you can actually illuminate a really large area, which is surprising coming from such a small device. There's no need to worry about extremes of weather as the device is IP65 waterproof rated and is heat and frost resistant. Personally, I am using the light for illumination in the garden for the dog when she goes into the garden at night. Previously, the garden had solar lights, but in the winter months, there just isn't enough light to charge them and thus provide enough for any nighttime light. So in our case, having a light that illuminates brightly when she is out there gives her the confidence to do her business at night, not under the veil of darkness, and allows us to be able to see her while at the same time giving that security at the back of the property. You can get this outdoor solar light from Anakin on Amazon, currently for a 
amazing £20, which I'll put a link in the description below. And at that price, there's no reason why you couldn't get multiple lights, one for the front of your house, one for the side of your house, and one for the garden. This is certainly a great choice for anyone wanting to provide an extra layer of security around your home without spending too much, and at the same time not adding to your household bills, having a system that is wired into the electrics like so many outdoor security lights. With this, you are getting a self-sustained solar light that should last a number of years and reliably provide you every day with the confidence that the area around your home isn't going to be pitch black, which can be very daunting walking into, especially if you live on your own or you're wary of security issues in your area. Thanks again to Elekin for providing this very useful household outdoor solar light, which I'll definitely be recommending to friends and family for their own homes. If there are any other home tech that you'd like me to test and review, just get in contact via the usual methods. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one.